we haven't even really done anything to it. We're just letting the stereoness just do its thing and that little vibrato, the reverb. I'm digging that. Hello and welcome. Today is a good day because we are going to be exploring the All Roads instrument. It's my new electric piano Rhodes instrument. Let's check it out. All Roads. Got it in my browser and my favorites. We got all sorts of fun stuff here. We've got our presets. We'll use the sampler presets. It comes with both sampler and simpler versions. So you can use it in any version of Ableton as far back as 9.5. That's intro standard and or suite. There's a lot to explore here. In the next videos throughout the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be showcasing this instrument. So we'll be getting into it. But for today, let's explore one of my favorites, which is the grand presets. These presets are panned in the way that you would experience sitting at a grand acoustic piano right in front of middle C so that the lower notes are to your left and the higher notes are to your right. That's not something you get with the electric piano coming in just through an instrument cable where everything's monophonic or maybe you get the panning effect. What I've done with these instruments is made it so that the samples are panned so that the lowest notes are all the way hard left and then it gets progressively panned towards the center all the way up to middle C. And then from middle C on up, it gets panned to the right. So you get this kind of interesting stereo field akin to an acoustic instrument, but with the electric Rhodes electric piano sound. There's a few variations. Um, we're just going to go with the standard Grand Rhodes. Let's just take it for a spin. If you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to hear that stereo panning action there where we've got F sharp down here. Not all the way hard left because there's still more notes, but substantially left. And then up here, we've got it pretty to the right. All right, let's get a little idea going. What we're gonna do today is just make a little tune with this sound. And let's get a little bit more reverb dialed in here, which we can easily do using the macro variations. Wet, and let's put some vibrato on it too. All part of the macro variations. I like that. And then it chills there longer maybe. Okay, so here's what's going on here. F sharp minor, F sharp minor 11. So we're stacking from F sharp, we get the minor third, A, the fifth, C sharp, the seventh, E, the ninth, G sharp, and then there's an B in there as well, which is the 11th. So G sharp is what's on top of this voicing. And then that melody falls. Do, 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 do. And now here's a new chord. F major sharp 11. We're stacking it from F, A, C, E, G, and B. And the melody note on top is E. And then I'm gonna keep going down to a D minor. which is kind of like a, another part of the F Lydian, F major sharp 11 spectrum. They're kind of like 
siblings in a way. I wanna to get to the five chord to get back to F sharp. So that would be a D flat or a C sharp chord. So I wanna to get to a D flat suspended chord. Suspended seven. Surround that B flat as part of the D minor. A, C, which is five and then the seven, and then land on the B flat, which becomes the 13th. And then I'm gonna walk back up, so. And then we'll go to the true five chord, an altered five chord. Maybe tritone substitution, so G7. And then we're back to F sharp minor. Cool, that's the idea, we'll go with that. All right, and now let's sort out where our tempo is there. Let's see. Maybe 80 beats per minute, 85. We'll start with 80. Let's go ahead and grab a drum track. I've been really enjoying using this little kit that I put together. It's lo-fi, but it's really just, it, it's, I played the hi-hat and the ride cymbal with a brush. So it's just kind of a little bit more mellow of a drum style. I'm gonna use that. I plan on putting together a drum library, very much like this Rhodes library. I'm slowly putting together instruments that kind of have this mellow quality just built into it. So you don't have to try to get that with processing. It's just right out the gate, it's mellow. So that'll be upcoming, that's next. But here's kind of just the simple version of it. I'll just put in a very simple pattern here just to get us started so that we don't have to hear the metronome, which is always a bummer. Let's see. there that and then repeating it that's a nice little touch maybe we should add to the drums next what if we just add a hi-hat just quarter notes real simple I think we got to do a bass next I'm gonna choose one of my favorite basses that I've been using as far as a synth bass uh, for the past while, which is the Nod preset from the Ambi Electronic preset pack that I put out a few months ago now, which I am offering in a bundle with this Rhodes sound. So you can get them both at a heavily discounted rate right now. So yeah, if you like what you hear, you can grab this whole sonic profile here and do what you want with it. So check it out. We'll go over to Ambi Electronic here. Bass Nod. And let's see, I like the muted preset a lot. We'll, we'll use the muted. We'll see what happens with these chords. We got F sharp minor, F major, D minor, D flat sus, G7, F sharp minor. too crazy but I like the idea of mimicking the melody a little bit in the bass so like
liking using capture lately. Not even think about recording, just, just play and then just grab it afterward. Okay, so this is cool. But the problem is, is that it's 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 a little bit too much in this hamster wheel because it's going all over the place in terms of the chords. It's going from F sharp down a half step to F, to D down a half step to D flat to G. It's it's too much half step going on. So this could be cool as a section, but we need something to counterbalance it. Something for contrast. Something that doesn't feel so all over the place. Something that's a little more at rest. So maybe we start in the same place. What if we start with F sharp minor, same deal. And what if it just goes and then stays there? Two parts. One is just the it's the built on the first idea we had F sharp minor to F major. But now we're just letting F major kind of ride. So little variation on that top part. And I really like that how it goes. Do, 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 do. That jump there. And we get the jump of the octave there too. So there's, there's some nice motion there. And then we just use E as our kind of ostinato, as a little pedal tone ostinato thing there. And then the second part, it does the same thing, but then comes down to A. And then I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep building up. Yeah. Or the last time, the fourth time. We'll go up to E. So it'll be the first one two times, the second one, and then the third one. I think we got it. So something like this. Let's see. I'm not sure if I was playing that as a four or five bar phrase. We'll find out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and then F bar two, three, bar four, bar five. So basically I played F sharp minor for one bar and then F major for four bars. So it turns into a five bar loop basically that I repeated four times. Which that's interesting. And it kind of plays into what the whole goal of this section was to begin with, which was to create breath or, um, or reprieve from the first idea, which was kind of like constantly weaving and going between a chord a semitone away with, without ever letting up or giving the listener or giving you a break. 
So mission accomplished. So let's roll with that. Let's add a bass line to the second section that we just recorded. Now there's an opportunity here to let the bass really fill up this section since it's just chilling on F the whole time, but maybe we don't need to, Let, let's see. couple ideas here. One is on the F sharp chord, we'll just follow the melody and go. And then on the F chord, I want to hit the root and then link up with the E notes. And I'm going to try to do that with four variations. The first one will be very simple, just yeah. The next one will be The third one will be Yeah, and then the fourth one will be Okay, let's try it. maybe spruce up this drum pattern although maybe not i'm kind of liking the, the the just super simple i mean we're, this is about as simple as you can get we're just playing quarter notes here i'm kind of liking letting all the groove come from the in-between notes of the bass and the keyboard it's kind of cool i do have a couple other sounds on this drum kit that i think might come in handy here shaker wash let's see yeah that's what I'm saying. I'm excited to share this drum kit that I'm, I'm working on with, with everyone because I don't know about you, but so, there's a, plenty of great drum libraries out there, but, but I want a kit where I load it up and all we're doing is like hip hop flavors, housey flavors, lo-fi flavors, liquid drum and bass kind of flavors, just all these classic sounds at this point. All these sounds have been percolating for like 30 years now. We can call them classic. I don't need a drum library that lets me do a perfect Nickelback kind of vibe. I mean, no offense to Nickelback, it is what it is. I don't need the drums from Nickelback. That's actually what the concept of this Rhodes library is too. There's plenty of great Rhodes libraries out there, but I don't need the Bee Gees Rhodes. Not at this point. We'll see, there's, there's, plenty, of, there's plenty of time, but at this point, I don't need the Bee Gees Rhodes. I don't need a crystal ball roads. I don't need a glittery roads. I just need the mellow, vibey, moody, smoky roads. And that's what this one is. The shaker wash. I think that's what we needed. That's, that's so satisfying there. It's not even rhythmic. It's just kind of, in fact, it was this. It's this guy here. And I'm just doing basically that out of time, out of rhythm. I think that's what it needed. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little quieter, we'll turn the velocity down. Here's section two, here we go.
this section we'll do can we get away with some ride into a little bit of an arrangement here. Since the other phrases are five bars long, maybe it makes sense to pair this one with an uneven amount as well, three, uh, three times through the section. So this is the second time. And now here's the third time. the second section. Yeah, cool. It's funny how these quirks can kind of make their way in and then make logical sense afterward that since the, each of these loops is five bars long, somehow it kind of equals out that the first section should be repeated only three times. Does that make sense to anyone but me? Preset pack bundled with the All Roads instrument at a majorly discounted price on my website, jaronlopez.com. The link is below. Or if you already have the Ambi Electronic preset pack, just pick up the All Roads instrument. It's on an introductory discount right now. So go check it out. Catch you next time. <laughs>